Dragon-Blooded War God. Chapter 56, Shui Yuanzi The moment Bai Xing had shouted the name Shui Yuanzi, Long Chen immediately knew that something was amiss. He originally thought that after winning the fight with Bai Li, he could rescue Yang Xiuqing and obtain the soul diffusion fruit. However, at this moment it seemed that something unexpected was about to happen. Long Chen had always been suspicious of why the two Bai brothers would capture Yang Xiuqing but not use her against them. Now, it appeared that someone else was hiding inside the granite cave, seemingly of high status and power. It seemed that the Bai brothers had only invited this expert over on the off chance that some unexpected events occurred and what just happened definitely constitutes an extremely unlikely turn of events. The Bai brothers would have never expected this outcome, Bai Li being defeated by Long Chen. Bai Li, who was hit by Long Chen's seal of the high profound dragon, did not lose his consciousness at this point. His face was extremely pale and he gazed manically at Long Chen and sneered, Kid, I never thought that you would actually be able to defeat me. However, you would never guess that although my Bai family did not expect this outcome, we still made ample preparations. I believe Shui Yuanzi will let you know the meaning of suffering and agony. As Bai Li said these words, Long Chen already felt an immense aura coming from the depths of the granite cave. This super expert went undiscovered by even Ling Si, and it appeared that Yang Xiuqing, who was close to the soul diffusion fruit tree, did not know of it either. So, when everyone felt that stifling aura, Yang Xiuqing, who had been unbelievably elated as Long Chen had beaten Bai Li, turned extremely pale. She panicked and said to Long Chen, You, hurry and go, you will definitely not be able to beat this person, bring my father and leave. She had a panic-stricken face, but Long Chen did not move. This Shui Yuanzi is most likely from the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect. I wonder what his strength is at. At this point, Long Chen did not feel very confident. In his heart, Shui Yuanzi could be a ninth level of the Dragon Pulse Realm cultivator, or even an existence that surpasses the Dragon Pulse Realm. If his strength is over the Dragon Pulse Realm then, with my current strength, I will definitely die. Not to mention saving my mother or obtaining the soul diffusion fruits. Long Chen understood the situation clearly but he also knew that there was no backing out at this point. Although Yang Xiuqing still put on a frantic expression, the unbending will of Long Chen and his responsibility did not allow him to retreat even half a step back. Don't say any more. I am not someone who escapes easily. As he growled and spoke to Yang Xiuqing, Long Chen coldly looked at the faintly smiling person that walked out from the granite cave. Upon seeing the determination in Long Chen's eyes, Yang Xiuqing, who was originally panic stricken, suddenly stopped. The reason was that she abruptly felt that this youth had long exceeded her vision, and as to what his true character was, she knew nothing at all. And by this time, the person named Shui Yuanzi walked out. As he walked past Bai Li, he first looked at him and then at Long Chen. He then frowned and said, You are able to beat Bai Li. Although it isn't such a bad feat, many people in Yuanling City are able to achieve the same. However, in such a small place like this, you should be considered as a genius. He was extremely honest in his evaluation towards Long Chen. After sizing Long Chen up closely, he clicked his tongue and nodded his head saying, this body of a beast warrior isn't too bad and if I were to guess, it should belong to the underground blood lizard's soul. It's not bad, but today you have hurt my men and even want to fight for the soul diffusion fruits with me. Now that you have already created enmity between us, I don't think I can let you leave here alive. Long Chen also coldly sized up this person. His figure was as skinny as a matchstick and he wore a black robe. It seemed like his age wasn't too old, approximately thirty years or so. His eyes, however, were extremely sinister and between his brows was the red duh, the trademark of the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect. Also, another special feature was that his hair and brows had faint signs of red color. At this moment, he was clicking his tongue and sizing Long Chen up, showing that he was not worried about Long Chen at all. However, Long Chen did not feel stifled by this. From this person's appearance, Long Chen knew that he was much stronger than Bai Li and Bai Sheng. 
Also, he saw Long Chen's age and ability to beat Bai Li, but he was not in the slightest bit surprised. This showed that he had experience in seeing things like these. Someone who has such experience will definitely be a strong person. At the very least someone who surpasses the ninth level of the Dragon Pulse realm. Thinking thus, Long Chen felt helpless. However, the disdain in the opponent's eyes and his disregarding expression made Long Chen feel extremely indignant. My mother is just in front of me, along with the soul diffusion fruit. I have even defeated Bai Li. How can I be willing to be defeated here? Seeing this strange, yet vicious-looking Shui Yuanzi, Long Chen clenched his fists tightly, and the gaze in his eyes was frosty as he met Shui Yuanzi head-on. Shui Yuanzi noticed the unwillingness in that gaze and momentarily laughed. He nonchalantly ruffled his hair and sneered, You are really like a newborn calf who does not know fear towards a tiger. Merely beating such a retard like Bai Li and you think you are invincible. Indeed, you are not someone who has seen the outside world and do not know your place. He immediately turned around and looked at Yan Shuiqing and his gaze filled with lust. He rubbed both of his hands together and said, This lady here is your mother? There is, indeed, that unbelievable appeal in her, which I am extremely fond of. Turning back, Shui Yuanzi spoke to Long Chen expectantly, Your mother's sex appeal is still there and your talent isn't too bad either. How about this, you and your mother follow me back to Yuanling City, and I promise I won't kill you then. What do you think? Everyone understood what that eagerness in Shui Yuanzi's gaze implied. At this moment, the most furious were the Bai brothers. Bai Xing was still fighting with founder Yang, and Bai Li, who was still conscious, gave a look of disbelief towards Shui Yuanzi. Bai Li furiously shouted, Shui Yuanzi, you promised us that you will kill them. What do you mean by saying those words? Shui Yuanzi smiled happily and looked at Bai Li, saying, What other meaning can I have? I, Shui Yuanzi, will do whatever I please. Don't tell me that I have to report everything I do to a trash like you. Bai Li, from the time I entered the human Dan realm, you and I were no longer equals, and yet you still foolishly believed that I would help you? Hearing these words, Bai Li instantly sucked in a deep breath and said, Shui Yuanzi, so many years of friendship and today you actually spouted these words, really? Heavenly punishment? Divine judgment? Okay now, Bai Li, don't say such silly things that amuse me. I really wonder how you were able to remain so laughably ignorant after all these years. What Long Chen did not expect was that this Shui Yuanzi, who looked to be merely 30 years of age, was actually similar in age to Bai Li, which meant he was about 60 odd years old. However, Long Chen I squinted. You damned old fellow, actually want to hit on my mother? And even want to adopt me as your son? Looking at the frightened expression on Yang Shuiqing, Long Chen was heartbroken. He felt that it was because he wasn't strong enough that she had to be this frightened right now. Maybe it was due to the thoughts of torture in her future, but Long Chen had actually seen suicidal thoughts in her mind. With her, Yang Shuiqing's current abilities, naturally no one could stop her from committing suicide. No matter how much pressure Shui Yuanzi had given Long Chen, after seeing that frightened look on Yang Shuiqing's face, he knew that it was time for him to straighten his backbone. Actually, it should be Long Qinglan's role to protect her right now, but seeing as Long Qinglan wasn't there any longer, Long Chen knew he had to shoulder this responsibility. Old man, this damned old geezer wants to violate your woman. You, who are so awe-inspiring to me, if you are there watching from the heavens then bless us all and pray that we are able to escape this calamity. Bai Li's wild shouts were exchanged with Shui Yuanzi's smirk, and although it had not matured, Long Chen's frosty voice sounded out with absolute determination beside Shui Yuanzi's ears. You old fart, you want to be my father? Seeing your appearance, even if you come begging me to accept you as my grandson, I will still feel my status lowering. This insult, by Long Chen, momentarily stunned Shui Yuanzi. Seeing the cold gaze gradually emanating from Long Chen, he felt T. Long Chen might as well have been spitting words made of ice. I thought you might have some brains, but never think that you're just a donkey. Foolish people have no right to live on this earth. Oh well, I will send you to your death. But don't worry, 
I will definitely do a great job to replace your father in loving this elegant beautiful mother of yours. At first, Bai Li thought that Long Chen would take advantage of this opportunity and establish a connection with Shui Yuanzi. He never thought that Long Chen would reply Shui Yuanzi in this manner. He was shocked at first and then he helplessly laughed at himself and said, Although this brat from Yang family has a blood feud with me, he still has some backbone. Sadly, no matter how much backbone he has, after meeting a human Dan Realm cultivator he will still have to die prematurely. After all, human Dan Realm is an existence with strength surpassing the ninth level of the Dragon Pulse Realm by ten times. Although Shui Yuanzi had said he would send Long Chen to hell, he never attacked him. Instead, he walked over to Yang Xiuqing's side. Yang Xiuqing, who wore a horrified expression at first, had now changed into an expression of resolution after hearing Long Chen's words. Shui Yuanzi used his finger to lift her porcelain white chin and looked at Yang Xiuqing, whose eyes were filled with fury. He then cackled and said, What a young and tender woman! I heard that you have been living like a widow for so many years, I imagine that you must be feeling a little itchy? Big brother, I am really so sorry for appearing this late. He turned around and looked towards Long Chen, shaking his head while saying, I could have treated both of you, mother and son, well. Alas, your son wasn't tactful so I can only destroy him before I can be at peace. At this moment, Long Chen walked towards him one step at a time and his surging blood-red chi was constantly boiling within him. One could see the madness and rage within his crimson-colored eyes. You old geezer, release her. Shui Yuanzi laughed and said, What did you say? I said. Feeling the countless blood dragons that held within him, Long Chen abruptly raised his head and bellowed, I want you to release her. Dragon Blooded War God. Chapter 57 Secret Sword Art, Dream Returning Fairy. Seeing that Long Chen was actually not afraid of death, Shui Yuanzi slowly squinted at him. He violently swung his hand and dragged Yang Xiuqing with his fingers while slamming his palm on the granite wall. Despite Yang Xiuqing having the chi protection of an eighth level of the Dragon Pulse Realm cultivator, blood was faintly streaming down her forehead. This sight of crimson blood had completely ignited the fury in Long Chen's heart. Shui Yuanzi, you actually hurt her. Shui Yuanzi sneered, she's just an abandoned widow, so what if I did? What can you do to me? Don't tell me you are going to kill me? Looking at this posture of yours, brat, are you going to take action? Oh well, let me show you the difference in power between the human Dan and Dragon Pulse Realm. After saying this, an extremely enormous chi on Shui Yuanzi's body was fully drawn. Right now, Long Chen felt that the person in front of him was no longer human, but a demonic beast with an earth-shattering aura that seemed to cover the entire planet. This aura even made Long Chen unable to breathe. What an aura! Even if I use all my energy, there is absolutely no chance of winning. Shui Yuanzi merely displayed his aura and it had already made Long Chen unable to move. In this instant, the aura in his bloodshot eyes surged and constantly reminded him that if he did not wish to die, he could only hurry and escape. Despite this, when he thought of Yang Xiuqing, who was still by his side, and the blood that was dripping down from her forehead, Long Chen's blood boiled. Who cares what fucking human Dan realm you are? In front of me, you can only die. At the same time, Lingxi was extremely frantic inside the Lingxi sword on Long Chen's ear. Seeing that the human Dan realm opponent was about to strike, Lingxi could only anxiously remind Long Chen, Long Chen, I beg of you. Don't put up such a brave front right now. He is not someone that you can fend off with your strength. If you are this stubborn, not only will you die, but the rest of us too. Shut up. Long Chen coldly stared at Shui Yuanzi and said in a frosty voice, My mother is still there, so how can I only persevere for this short while? Lingxi, you better go. I think the energy from the five stalks of dream spirit grass will be enough for you to find a way to continue living. Suddenly, Lingxi's face turned extremely pale. She looked at Long Chen in disbelief, never thinking that Long Chen would actually say these words. She broke down and sobbed, You, you scoundrel! I am not someone who is afraid of death. I. Then shut up for me. 
Long Chen had no bad intentions towards Ling Si at all. He being this stern to her was because of the current angst that he was feeling. Right after Long Chen and Ling Si had exchanged their words Shui Yuanzi, who was holding down Long Chen with his might, noticed that Long Chen was courting death and blabbing away even when he was unable to move. Originally, he actually did appreciate Long Chen a little, but now it had turned into anger. He viciously looked at Yang Shuiqing, who glared at him in disdain, saying, After I kill your son, I'll return and have a good time with you. After saying this, his figure vanished before Yang Shuiqing's eyes. Chen Er, be careful. As Yang Shuiqing's shrill voice sounded out, Long Chen had already realized there was a person standing in front of him. He had prepared an even stronger, seal of the high profound dragon, than the one he created for Bai Li, and sent it crashing into Shui Yuanzi. Unfortunately, Shui Yuanzi was not even slightly surprised at seeing such a powerful attack from Long Chen. At the same instant, his face darkened and he sent a fist with crimson light flying towards Long Chen. This crimson light looked extremely normal, but its destructive ability was there. As the seal of the high profound dragon, and Shui Yuanzi's fist containing the crimson light crashed against each other, Long Chen helplessly realized that, although the seal of the high profound dragon was a magnificent martial technique, it was still powerless in front of the enormous corrosive ability in the crimson blood. Under an attack powered by a human Dan realm cultivator, the seal of the high profound dragon shattered and that enormous crimson light energy crashed into Long Chen and sent him flying. Chen Air. Chen Air. Long Chen. As a few frightened voices had sounded out, Founder Yang's and Yang Xuaqing's faces abruptly turned pale. Yang Xuaqing was unable to move and Founder Yang was being held back by Bai Xing, so he could not rush to Long Chen's aid either. Both of them were only able to watch as Long Chen flew through the air. The other shout was of course by Ling Si. Seeing that Long Chen was actually injured and had even vomited a mouthful of fresh blood, Ling Si felt rage rising to the extreme in her heart. Ling Si, who originally thought she was about to die, had actually managed to spend time together with Long Chen for this period of time and experienced so many things together with him. There was laughter and even tears. Gradually, she had developed a dependent feeling towards this youth. She was completely immersed in Long Chen's current feelings so when she saw Long Chen, who was critically hurt trying to save this mother of his who once looked down on him, Ling Si's heart shattered into many pieces. Ling Si was extremely panic-stricken and did not know what to do at this point. Shui Yuanzi's cold laughter sounded at that moment and he strolled towards Long Chen, his face carrying a look of contempt. With just this small achievement and you already think you are so invincible, People like you who don't know their place will always die a horrible death. You, Runt, aren't the first nor the last. However, it is still the first time that I, Shui Yuanzi, have had the opportunity to end a little genius life like yours, one which was destined to have some accomplishments when it's just the beginning. The blood-reeking aura of this person had made Ling Si, whose cultivation had almost dropped to zero, shudder in waves. Thinking of the miserable state Long Chen was in and seeing that smug face of the bad guy, however, gradually intensified her rage. If you bully him, then you deserve to die. Seeing Shui Yuanzi, Ling Si gradually lost her sense of identity. In her heart, it was as if the person Shui Yuanzi had harmed was not Long Chen, but her. At this moment, Long Chen felt a wave of enormous energy rushing into his body and ruining everything inside. This wave of energy had caused him to lose consciousness for a split second and, seeing the current state of his body, he knew that death was imminent. If he were to die here, no matter if it was Yang Shuiqing or Founder Yang, and even Ling Si, they would all perish here with him. If they died, the other Yang family members would most likely be unable to survive as well. There was a heavy responsibility on his shoulders, but the regretful thing was that right now, he had absolutely no strength to resist and fight back. Although he had gained tremendous improvement recently, it was still not enough. Only by being a true expert can one then protect the people close to them. I, Long Chen, am obviously nowhere close to this stage yet. I am really unwilling to just die like this. There are still many things for me to do, I, I have to become stronger. 
Long Chen was madly howling in his heart, but at this moment, the energy sent from Shui Yuanzi had already entered his internal organs. Suddenly, there was a huge devouring force that emanated within his body that directly consumed Shui Yuanzi's strange corrosive attack. Long Chen, however, had only gotten paler. The reason for this was because in that instance, he felt that there was a huge appetite stored somewhere inside of him that was countless of times stronger than his own. At this moment, Long Chen understood that everything he had encountered before was unable to appease its hunger. Long Chen knew deep down that this appetite belongs to him and right now he felt extremely famished. What he needed was an amount of energy so unthinkable it would allow him to become the most extreme of existence, a dragon of the myths. The quality of this, Shui Yuanzi's, qi is somewhat similar to mine, containing a bloody aura. However, his quality is only twofold of the average cultivator's. It's not even close to mine, even when I'm not using Dragon Soul Transformation. Suddenly thinking on the fact that Shui Yuanzi is a member of the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect, and remembering that he had previously seen Bai Zhan Xiong selling the courtesans from Emerald Jade House to these people of the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect, his brows furrowed. It is very likely that this faint red qi they cultivate and has got something to do with the courtesans from Emerald Jade House. Long Chen woke up from his half-conscious state only after fully absorbing Shui Yuanzi's attack on his body. Just as he was wondering why Shui Yuanzi had not claimed his life, he opened his eyes and saw that the Lingxi sword had once again rapidly grown larger in front of his eyes. Amongst the astonished expressions of everyone, a white foggy mist pervaded the air. The elegant body and disposition of Lingxi, her long white dress, the hair that looked like a waterfall, and that fragrance that soothes people, all appeared in front of Long Chen once again. Similar to the previous two times, her back was again facing Long Chen. Each and every movement was executed with determination and without a moment of hesitation. Long Chen's heart surged with emotions at this moment. He was well aware that Ling Si only had five stalks of the dream spirit grasses as her lifespan. As far as how long it could last for, he did not know himself. It was extremely disadvantageous for her to use her spiritual force at this time. Also, if Shui Yuanzi was too powerful for her and she ended up using too much energy, she might very well dissipate into thin air. Tears brimming in his eyes, Long Chen was moved as he hollered, Xiao Shi, don't do this, come back. Ling Si fidgeted, however she never turned back. Long Chen was able to see her extreme beauty clearly, and under the astonished gazes of Founder Yang and the rest, her gaze flashed coldly within the mist. At this moment, Shui Yuanzi, who was charging towards Long Chen to finish him off, suddenly saw a strange girl stand in front of him. Although he was surprised, the welling energy in his hands never stopped. Blood smearing revolving void punch. Instantly a blood palm print that could split the heavens and tear the earth came charging towards Ling Si, who was defending Long Chen, and Long Chen's anxiety reached to the heavens. However, everything happened in a flash and when Shui Yuanzi used, heaven-piercing finger, a clear and distinct voice rang in everyone's ears. Secret sword art, dream returning fairy, jolting heaven's dancing blades. A flash appeared in front of Long Chen's eyes and the mist surrounding Ling Si started to move. Very soon, the figure of a sword appeared from the mist, as if there were countless girls dancing wildly, and brushed past Shui Yuanzi's body. Then, everything returned to normal. Everyone was astounded. Long Chen looked blankly at Ling Si, who had now turned into a tiny ball of mist and entered back into Ling Si's sword. Under her control, she transformed the sword into an ear pin and attached itself onto Long Chen's ear. As Long Chen began to panic, her frail voice sounded. Don't worry, I'll be fine after sleeping. However this simple attack used three stalks of the dream spirit grass's energy so I cannot stand up for you so easily anymore, however, you idiot, I am really not someone who is afraid of death, woo. This silly girl. To save him, she had even risked her life. How could Long Chen not understand this? Long Chen knew that the words he said before had hurt her. However, Long Chen looked blankly at Shui Yuanzi, standing in front of him. Dragon-Blooded War God Chapter 58, Eight Proctors 
Ling Xi's appearance had caused Bai Xing and founder Yang's battle to come to a halt. The moment Ling Xi disappeared, both of them held Long Chen in a different light than before. If one were to say that previously they only approved of Long Chen's talent, now they were more curious about his mysteries and even somewhat impressed. Ling Xi had once appeared during the inter-family competition, but founder Yang never thought that this mysterious item could actually be that powerful. He blankly looked at Long Chen and felt extreme pride and satisfaction. Having such a grandson like this in my life, even if I, Yang Sangqiong, were to die today, I will die without regrets. However, Xu Qing and the rest don't deserve to die at all. To Bai Xing, what had happened was obviously not a good thing at all. He was not feeling confident right now, so he hurriedly looked at Shui Yuanzi and said, Brother Shui Yuanzi. Shui Yuanzi remained motionless and no one knew what he was doing at this moment. However, seeing no signs of injuries on his body, Bai Xing only thought that he was somewhat curious due to Ling Xi's appearance. Therefore, Bai Xing continued and said, Brother Shui Yuanzi, I think that we can discuss this. I, Bai Xing, am willing to still honor our agreement of giving you one soul diffusion fruit. If you have an interest towards beauties, I think our Bai family women wouldn't be inferior to those in the Yang family? Elder brother, you don't have to mind about this wilting flower Yang Xueqing. As for the genius Long Chen, he hates you to the core. No matter how you nurture him, he will only backstab you in the end. At that point, founder Yang frowned even harder. Seeing that Shui Yuanzi did not refuse his suggestion, Bai Xing gave another provocative look at founder Yang. It looks like the heavens want to wipe my Yang family. What a pity for Long Chen, he is only sixteen. Founder Yang inhaled deeply. He looked at Shui Yuanzi, who was not moving and back to Long Chen. Thinking of the power disparity between the both of them he knew that there was not much hope anymore. Earlier, that mysterious girl who appeared in front of Long Chen seemed to have used a very powerful sword technique. Unfortunately, it seems to have no effect against Shui Yuanzi. Founder Yang was not clear about the current situation. Shui Yuanzi looked to be fine and seemed to have been moved by Bai Xing's words. Naturally, Bai Xing turned smug and looked towards Long Chen and Founder Yang, saying, If Brother Shui Yuanzi agrees to my suggestion, I request of you to kill this kid, huh? Right at this moment, Bai Xing suddenly saw a drop of fresh blood falling from between Shui Yuanzi's brows. As he looked closer, he noticed an extremely fine wound in between them as well as another drop of blood coming from the back of Shui Yuanzi's head. Bai Xing was so startled that he was momentarily rendered speechless. The situation right now was obvious. The reason why Shui Yuanzi did not speak was not because he was unwilling to, but because a hole had already bore through his head. Although the wound was extremely tiny, it clearly could take a person's life away. Shui Yuanzi, dead? An unthinkable thought surfaced in Bai Xing's mind while Shui Yuanzi's corpse crashed onto the floor. Long Chen had discovered long ago that Shui Yuanzi's body was devoid of life. Seeing him crashing to the floor, Long Chen was an extreme of Ling Xi's strength and mystery and was also grateful. I'm afraid that Ling Xi's background, including the power behind it, is extremely immense. Long Chen looked at Bai Xing and saw that he was still in shock from Shui Yuanzi's death. When he saw Long Chen he shook his head, saying, This can't be. Shui Yuanzi is an expert of the human Dan realm, how could he been beaten by you guys? Even if it was that mysterious girl, this is impossible. Seeing Shui Yuanzi's corpse, he suddenly thought of something and was extremely elated. He laughed and said to Long Chen and founder Yang, Now that Shui Yuanzi is dead, your Yang family will definitely die. Shui Yuanzi is one of the eight proctors of the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect. Long Chen did not expect Shui Yuanzi to have such a high position inside the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect. However, now that things had already turned out this way, he could only accept his fate. Crimson Blood Sacred Sect is a thing of the future, right now the more important task is to kill these two vermin of the Bai family. Right now, Founder Yang had also recovered from the shock over Shui Yuanzi's death. He knew how horrifying the consequences would be from killing someone from the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect, but since the deed had already been done, the task at hand was more important. 
they needed to save Yan Shuiqing, kill the Bai brothers, and obtain the soul diffusion fruits. Looking at that youth, founder Yang once again thought of him from a month ago. He remembered when the enormous improvement in Long Chen's progress had caught him unprepared. Chen Er, the joy that you bring me is more than just good. Each time you have been in a crisis, you have tried your best. You are basically the savior of our Yang family. This grace, how can this old geezer ever repay it? After Shui Yuanzi died, founder Yang and Long Chen knew that they had to end this quickly. At that moment, founder Yang held by Xing back while Long Chen prepared to rescue Yang Xuiqing. Long Chen did not expect Bai Li to suddenly stand up and rush to Yang Xuiqing's side and place his hands, which were dyed in blood, on her head. Brat, take another step and I will tear this woman to pieces. When Bai Li said these vicious words, Long Chen immediately halted in his steps. The Bai brothers regrouped and founder Yang furiously stood alongside Long Chen. It was really one thing after another. Long Chen coldly looked at the two while tightly clenching his fists. As expected, the old ginger is spicier than the young ginger. Bai Li was definitely not as injured as you thought he was and only pretended to be in that state. Most likely it was to use my mother as his trump card at the most crucial point. I was completely unprepared for this cunning thoughts of his. TL note, old ginger is still spicier than the young ginger, idiom meaning that experience counts. Thinking so, Long Chen reprimanded himself. He did indeed place all of his attention on Shui Yuanzi earlier and neglected the threat of Bai Li. He never once expected that this old fellow would pretend to be in a severely injured state. In the future, when I hurt someone, I cannot be merciful. It is better to be sure. Benevolence will only result in such an ending. Now, Yang Xuiqing was being held hostage by Bai Li. If Long Chen were to strike, Bai Li would definitely be able to end her life in an instant. By then, even if Long Chen killed these two brothers and obtained the soul diffusion fruit, the agony would definitely haunt him throughout his life. He would never be able to forgive himself. Long Chen was already extremely furious when Shui Yuanzi had hurt Yang Xuiqing, and it was not easy for Lingxi to kill Shui Yuanzi earlier, but it did allow his rage to subside. Now, though, Bai Li's actions invoked fury within him again that could burn the heavens. Sensing Long Chen's rage, founder Yang gripped his arm and said, Chen Er, don't move and endure. Let me deal with these sudden foxes. He then looked towards the Bai brothers, saying, Bai Xing, Bai Li, don't attack first. Tell me any conditions you have and if it is not too excessive, we will be able to agree. Bai Xing and Bai Li looked in each other's eyes and, seeing that they held the trump card, began to smugly smile while understanding each other's intentions. At this moment, Bai Li's palm was circling around Yang Xuiqing's head and the blood on it had already dyed Yang Xuiqing's black hair to red. Ignoring Long Chen's venomous stare, Bai Li slowly and casually said, Very simple, this three-soul diffusion fruit will belong to my Bai family, and this little bastard here must break one of his arms. Founder Yang and Long Chen were dumbfounded. Founder Yang would be unwilling to give all three soul diffusion fruits away and to break one of Long Chen's arms, that is not even worth mentioning. The plan of the Bai family was well thought out. With three soul diffusion fruits, both of them would be able to break through into the deity Dan realm. However, they were afraid of this genius Long Chen. For them to be able to sleep peacefully before breaking through, they needed to weaken him by breaking one of his arms. Once they had successfully entered the deity Dan realm, the Yang family would definitely be exterminated. Founder Yang coldly said, It seems like you have no sincerity at all. Such a ridiculous request, there's no point in it. After knowing me for so many years, Bai Sheng, you know my character best. My condition, at best, is only two soul diffusion fruits. If this does not suffice, then today I, Yang Sangcheong, will go through a life and death struggle and have a fight to the death with your Bai family. You will then see, at that moment, if the members who die the most will come from your Bai family or my Yang family. With Long Chen's strength above Bai Li, the Yang family now could be considered to have surpassed the Bai family. If they were to have a life and death struggle, the results were clear to both Bai Xing and Bai Li. 
So they looked again at each other, and Bai Xing solemnly said, Two soul diffusion fruits, so be it. However, we have another condition. Before we enter the deity Dan realm, Yang Xiuqing will momentarily reside at my place. She has married my son anyway so she can be considered to be my Bai family member. This was the final allowance that the Bai brothers could make since, even with the soul diffusion fruits, they would likely meet a tragic end without a hostage. Realizing that she had once again implicated her family members, Yang Xiuqing was extremely anxious and angry. Unfortunately, the metal chains that bound her were too tight and she had no chance of escaping by Li's grasp. Father. Don't listen to them. Don't worry about me. These two bastards of the Bai family will not be satisfied with this. If you allow them to enter the deity Dan realm, how will there be a chance for survival for our Yang family? Yang Xueqing said this to founder Yang with tears brimming in her eyes and then gave another yearning gaze at Long Chen. The complexity and sadness held in that look made even founder Yang's heart ache. He knew clearly the sufferings of his daughter for her whole life. Father, forgive me for being unfilial. I will be unable to take care of you during your old age. The benevolence you have given me, I will repay it in the next life. Chen Er Looking at Long Chen, Yang Xueqing could no longer hold back her tears and they streamed down from her porcelain white face. I, your mother, must say sorry to you, if there is a next life, I promise I will definitely love you tenderly, goodbye. After saying this, Yang Xueqing revealed a joyous look of salvation. Bai Xing's and Bai Li's faces instantly changed, because they both knew that at this moment she was going to commit suicide. Dragon-Blooded War God Chapter 59, 8th Level Dragon Pulse Realm Founder Yang understood the meaning behind Yang Xueqing's words. He had wanted to make a trade-off with the Bai family originally, but it was obvious that both parties would never reach mutually satisfactory terms. As for Yang Xueqing, after seeing that she had led her family into danger again and coupled with the remorse she had for her treatment of Long Chen, she felt terrible inside. Hence, she thought of sacrificing her own life to save them. Xueqing Stop. I know how to deal with them, don't do anything rash. Founder Yang's shout made Yang Xueqing halt her movements. This made Bai Sheng and Bai Li, who were using her as their lifeline, heaved sighs of relief. At this point, Yang Xueqing smiled miserably. Father, don't think of lying to me, I clearly know how much the Yang family can do. Today, these two old dogs of the Bai family are holding me as hostage and only with my death will everything they have turned to naught. There was an agonized expression on her face as she looked at Long Chen for one last time. She only wanted to have a closer look at this son of hers before she died, but Long Chen's strange actions made her puzzled and she stopped her movements. At this time, Bai Xing and Bai Li as well as founder Yang all stopped to look at Long Chen. Long Chen turned around and went to the corpse of Shui Yuanzi. He knew that if this continued the Yang family would undoubtedly meet with a tragic end, so he only had one chance. Shui Yuanzi Lingxi told me not to use blood transmuted qi on anyone easily, but this time I am left with no other choice. This old geezer is not anyone good either, so I won't hold back anymore. Long Chen's eyes flashed and, looking at Shui Yuanzi's corpse, he suddenly felt an incomparable hunger coming from his stomach. He clearly understood that as long as he did not make the first move on the Bai brothers, they wouldn't strike at Yang Xiuqing first. After all, Yang Xiuqing was their lifeline. If she was hurt, Long Chen would fight with them to death and there would be no good ending for either side. During this period of time, he might as well absorb the blood of Shui Yuanzi and allow his cultivation to progress. After thinking this far, Long Chen moved once again. Although he had decided earlier not to use blood transmuted qi easily, this was a crucial moment and he had no other choice. Long Chen momentarily emitted a blood reeking, killing aura from using his divine ability, blood transmuted qi. This strange, yet terrifying presence, made by Sheng and Bai Li inhale a deep breath. Very soon they noticed that on the surface of Shui Yuanzi's skin, there were countless drops of blood that, as if having their own mind, happily emerged from Shui Yuanzi's body. 
Shortly after appearing, they were absorbed into the blood-red scales on Long Chen's body. Long Chen gradually absorbed the essence of Shui Yuanzi's blood with blood-transmuted qi. Shui Yuanzi was an existence that Long Chen was not a match against and was the strongest opponent that he had ever fought. His cultivation was in the human Dan realm, which was much stronger than the ninth level of the Dragon Pulse realm, and the energy contained in his blood was several dozen times greater than by Zhang Xiong's. In the process of using blood transmuted qi, a huge amount of impurities were expelled from Long Chen's body. Only the finest essence from the blood was absorbed, turning into blood red qi as it traveled into the center of his dantian. The qi in his dantian expanded endlessly. This kind of impressive speed, this overwhelming strength, made Long Chen feel like he was about to explode. The blood essence of a human Dan realm cultivator is indeed no small matter. That enormous amount of blood red qi wildly surged inside Long Chen's dragon vein. Once again, he could feel that his body had turned into a nest for countless blood dragons as they howled while devouring this blood red qi. When Shui Yuanzi's blood essence was completely absorbed, his corpse became mummified. At this moment, the blood soaked aura emitting from Long Chen was magnified by several times. Now, the energy in his body was akin to a large sea, and he barely had any control over it. Such an enormous amount of qi. It is time to break through to the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm. Thinking of this, Long Chen immediately started circulating the qi. To the Bai brothers, Long Chen's actions seemed foolish, but at the same time extremely gutsy. At this point, Bai Li was already injured. If he wasn't, Bai Xing could have held founder Yang back and let Bai Li kill Long Chen, who was in the midst of cultivating. Unfortunately for them, it just so happened that Bai Li was injured and neither of them could figure out if Long Chen had any fighting abilities left. Thus, they just looked at each other without daring to move. Second brother, this little devil is already so strong. If he is able to enter the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm now. Don't be afraid, big brother. As long as this woman is in our hands it doesn't matter how strong he is. Also, when the news of Shui Yuanzi's death travel back to the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect the Yang family will definitely be in for a good time. Let us just focus on obtaining the soul diffusion fruits. Bai Xing nodded his head. Founder Yang did not expect that Long Chen would attempt his breakthrough to the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm at that moment. Fortunately, the two Bai brothers did not dare risk attacking Long Chen. Seeing this, his tension eased, and, since Long Chen was about to become stronger again, he began to feel a little excited. Suddenly, two voices rang out and broke the equilibrium. Everyone present looked and saw that the voices actually belonged to Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian. They had just arrived at Big Baron Mountain after sending the youths of the Yang family away. However, they never thought that scenario would turn out this way in just 15 minutes after the phenomenon in Big Baron Mountain. At this moment, Bai Xing and the injured Bai Li were holding Yan Xiuqing as hostage. Beside them, the soul diffusion fruits glowed with a rainbow-colored radiance. The leaves of the trees were almost withered, indicating that the ripening time was near. At this crucial moment, Founder Yang was facing both the Bai brothers, while Long Chen sat further away from them actually cultivating. There was a corpse, beside Long Chen, that had lost its original look, causing Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian not to be able to tell who it belonged to. The current situation was entirely different from what they had imagined. The battle has already stopped and that Bai Li is actually injured. Could it be that Chen Er injured him and then began attempting to break through to the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm? Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian thought of this, but they had made the trip with the resolution to die. Originally, they wanted to have one last fight to the death and couldn't fathom that the battle already stopped. Looking at Long Chen, Yang Yuntian and Yang Qingxian both shook their heads. Bai injuries were most likely caused by father. It appears that Chen Er is fine though, so at this moment the both of us should fend off the Bai family and let Chen Er regroup with the other party and escape. As they formulated their thoughts and walked towards Founder Yang, he immediately gave them a cold stare and asked, Why did you guys come? Where are the other members? Yang Qingxian panicked and said in a low voice, 
I had already let Wu Er and the rest bring the youths, the old, the weak, the women and children away from Poplar Town. Coming here, we only wish to help Chen Er escape so that he may one day seek revenge for us. Founder Yang nodded his head and then shook it quickly, blandly saying, If I were you, I would have done the same thing, but you guys have underestimated Chen Er. Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian were shocked and, looking at Long Chen, who was in the midst of cultivating, they asked with suspicion, Father, you mean to say that Bai Li was injured by Long Chen? Founder Yang nodded his head saying, You guys helped think of an idea. Yang Xueqing is still in their hands, and we want to be able to take the soul diffusion fruits and escape safely, it's not easy. Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian, who were still in shock of Long Chen beating Bai Li, recovered their senses and turned furious at the sight of their younger sister's pale complexion. By geezer, hurry and release my sister. If you have any conditions just state them. Hearing that Yang Qingxian had spoken similar words, Bai Xing laughed loudly and said, Your Yang family's love is more solid than gold, which is rather touching. However, if you don't act according to my wishes, then I will let you suffer the pain that I did. Yang Qingxuan's face darkened, while he said, What is your condition? Bai Xing viciously laughed, replying, I mentioned it to your father earlier, two soul diffusion fruits, and when we enter the deity Dan realm, we will return Yang Xueqing back to you. If they were to enter the deity Dan realm, then Yang family would definitely perish. Hearing these words, Yang Qingxuan's face darkened even more. Are you guys still undecided? Yang Sangcheng, you might have time, but I don't really want to stay and waste any more time with you. If you don't agree, then let us all just die here. I have already lost two sons, so today, I'm going all out. Bai Xing was being outrageously overbearing, but the three men from Yang family could not do anything about it. As for Long Chen, who was in the midst of cultivating, they had all almost forgotten he was there. Only Yang Xueqing's gaze still remained on him. She had wanted to die immediately, at first, but seeing Long Chen attempting to break through, Yang Xueqing harbored a glimmer of hope for him. Yang Qingxian lowered his voice and said to Founder Yang, Father, carrying on like this is not a solution. This, Bai Li is currently injured and if we are to drag it out any longer and let him recover, then no one will be able to stop him. At that point, just when Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian were a little shaken and Yang Xueqing had begun to despair, a sudden earth-shattering dragon's roar sounded. A rush of magnificent aura was displayed and Yang Qingxian, Yang Yuntian, and the rest could barely stand firmly on the ground. At this moment, everyone wore shocked expressions on their faces. Long Chen, who had just broken through to the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm, stood up. The scarlet scales and sharp dragon spikes looked extremely fiendish. What was most oppressive though, was his aura. The moment Long Chen opened his eyes, his pair of scarlet pupils sent a shiver down their spines. Feeling this overflowing energy, Long Chen smiled in his heart. If I were to use Dragon Soul Transformation, in the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm, I will definitely be much stronger than anyone else at the same level. A tenfold quality of qi and the reinforced body of this, dragon soul transformation, were trump cards that Long Chen could count on to be stronger than people of the same level. Right now, the strongest method Long Chen had was not, seal of the dragons, but rather the combination of his, blood transmuted qi, and, dragon soul transformation. These methods came from the inherited blood essence and mysterious dragon jade pendant, respectively, and from this alone one could see how mysterious they both were. Long Chen's gaze fell upon Bai Li, who was holding Yang Xueqing captive. Seeing such a magnificent aura coming from Long Chen's body, Bai Xing's and Bai Li's scalps had begun to go numb. Kid, I know you have become stronger, but you better not move. If not, I cannot guarantee Yang Xueqing's life. Seeing Long Chen, who was gradually approaching them, Bai Li's voice turned a little shrill. As for Bai Sheng, his eyes quivered a bit seeing the Dragon Soul Transformation. It was a perfect instrument for slaughter. You two old dogs. Long Chen, who was carrying this deep hatred within him, was akin to a super predator at this moment and walked towards them one step at a time. 
When all of his rage had reached its highest point, Long Chen's figure suddenly vanished and in the next instance Bai Li was flabbergasted as he found his back to be slightly cold. Poochi, the sound of a spike piercing a heart. Dragon-blooded war god. Chapter 60, All of You, Die. Looking at the current Long Chen approaching the two Bai brothers, even founder Yang did not dare stop him. He had a faint suspicion that Long Chen would give him a pleasant surprise in a moment. As for Yang Yintian and Yang Qingxian, they were so shocked when they felt Long Chen's enormous aura that it was difficult for them to even stand on their feet. Only now did they realize that the Yang family being able to survive until now, making the two by brothers put their status down and resort to kidnapping, was not because of founder Yang, but rather because of this devilish genius Long Chen. Although Long Chen was now in the eighth level of the Dragon Pulse realm, he had a strange shape-shifting ability which let his strength far exceed that of a normal cultivator. Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian also deduced that Long Chen had become a beast warrior, but as for the specifics, even they were unsure. Many things had happened recently, and Long Chen was usually not around at Yang residence, so they never had time to ask. Chen Er will most likely exceed any expectations I had of him. The three men from the Yang family collectively sighed. This was especially true for Yang Yuntian, who had long since been in awe of Long Chen's rapid progress in cultivation. Long Chen's current appearance made by Xing and by Li panic stricken. However, what they had never expected was that Long Chen's speed could actually be so quick. In the blink of an eye, Bai Li suddenly realized that Long Chen had disappeared. In the next moment, he felt a chill at his back and then it had started to hurt. Following this, a wave of overwhelming force rushed into his body. The bone-drilling pain in his heart made Bai Li convulse and, as he lowered his head, he noticed a blood-red spike withdrawing from his chest. Bai Li's face turned even paler. This, I have, impossible. Although he was filled with utter disbelief, the piercing pain from the whole board through his body had let Bai Li realize that he was most likely about to die. His consciousness slowly faded and his world turned darker. He suddenly became aware of the shocked expressions of Founder Yang and the rest, who were looking behind him. Although Bai Li was extremely curious and wanted to see who was behind him, he did not have much time left, and his increasingly fuzzy consciousness made him feel extremely weary. However, thinking of who could be behind him, his eyes suddenly widened. He realized that the person who had killed him was actually the runt, Long Chen, who he had never cared about from the start. However, it was too late. When he finally recalled this piece of information, his consciousness once again took another hit. In the midst of endless hatred and unwillingness, Bai Li died. After being flung off by Long Chen, the corpse fell onto the ground and crashed in front of Founder Yang and the rest. At this moment, everyone finally recovered their senses. Founder Yang and the other two looked at the wide-eyed corpse, and then looked back at Long Chen, who had spat a mouthful of spit on it. They were extremely shocked and could not speak. TL Note, Wide-Eyed Corpse, Chinese idiom referring to someone who dies with grievance and regret slash shock remaining. In the instant that Long Chen had killed Bai Li, Bai Xing was extremely shocked. When his brother's corpse was flung onto the floor, he felt incomparable rage, which quickly turned into endless fear. He immediately turned tail and attempted to run. He knew that Yang Shuiqing was his only lifeline. But, as he turned back, an icy cold grip had already clasped onto his neck. That Qi, with an enormous and strong grip that was not a whit inferior to his, let Bai Xing understand that if he made even the slightest movement, he would definitely die. Bai Xing was slowly lifted off the floor while in Long Chen's grasp. Looking down at the blood-red pupils, he was thinking of how Bai Li died. Bai Xing, who lived for so many years, was finally afraid and the shadow of death was lingering over his head. He was so terrified that his face turned ashen and he hurriedly begged, saying, Please let me go. I promise that I will bring all of my Bai family away from Poplar Town and hand you all of the Bai family properties. Long Chen laughed coldly, not agreeing nor denying. At this moment, Founder Yang had come to terms with the reality that Long Chen had killed Bai Li. Everyone hurriedly gathered around Long Chen and, looking at the miserable state of Bai Xing, 
The three members of the Yang family all felt extremely satisfied, especially founder Yang. Seeing that this traitorous brother of his, the one he had acknowledged his whole life had finally landed in his clutches, and his emotions surged wildly. Chen Er, you know what to do, right? When Bai Xing had pleaded, Founder Yang coldly looked at him and blandly asked. Founder Yang's intentions were extremely clear, Bai Xing was not allowed to exist on this earth anymore. Bai Xing furiously stared at Founder Yang, saying, Brother Yang, we have been brothers our whole lives. Are you going to be this vicious now? On the account that I have helped you so many times before, how about repaying the grace and letting me go this one time? Founder Yang sneered and said, The very night you placed the nightmare flower in my mouth, we were no longer brothers. Chen Er, do not drag this any longer, take action now. With Founder Yang's last three words, Bai Xing's tears had begun to fall. He felt the pressure on his neck started to increase, and seeing that Long Chen and the Yang family members did not plan on sparing his life, he knew that it was forfeited. He thought of how he had he meticulously planned his attempt to exterminate the Yang family, twice, but still ended up defeated by their hands. By Long Chen's hands. Seeing this youth that was destined to have a great future ahead, Bai Xing was extremely unwilling in his heart. What he regretted most was not killing this genius Long Chen before he made any progress in cultivation. Xiong Er, if only you were more vicious in your methods back then, our Bai family would not have to meet with such an ending today. Long Qing Lan was extremely mysterious to us all those years ago. We should have all along realized that his son would not simply be just a useless brat. Bai Xing despaired as he though this. However, looking at Yang Xueqing, Yang Qingxian, and Yang Yuntian, Bai Xing momentarily laughed wildly and said, Kill me if you want, but the azure sea metal chain binding Yang Xueqing's body is impossible to be opened without a key or an advanced grade spirit sword. Bai Xing originally thought he could threaten the Yang family members by saying this. After all, if Yang Xueqing was forever bound by these chains, she was as good as being dead. What made Bai Xing lose all hope was when the Yang family members all looked at each other and smiled. Yang Qingxian then said blandly, It seems like this Bai Dog doesn't know, the confirmant from the Lingwu family contains an advanced grade spirit sword. By now, Bai Xing had given up all hope, how could he not know that he had no more chance to leave this place anymore? However thinking of that thing, Bai Xing suddenly felt extremely relieved. He looked the young family members with a crazy expression and exclaimed, Kill me if you want to, I, Bai Xing, no longer want to live anyway. However, I'm afraid the only young family members remaining will be the few of you. Haha. <laughs> young Sangcheng, we still have heirs in our Bai family, but as for your young family, it seems like the bloodline will be stopped. This time, I haven't lost to you. As Bai Xing said these words, the expression on Long Chen and the rest all changed abruptly. Founder Yang knew that Yang Qingxian had instructed the rest to leave Poplar Town but, after listening to Bai Xing, it seemed like it was all within the expectations of the Bai family. After remembering Bai Zhanlong and Bai Zhanfeng weren't here, the Yang family members' brows had all furrowed. As for Yang Qingxian and Yang Yuntian, the shock was so great that they could not even stand properly. Seeing the agonized expression on their faces, Bai Xing laughed hysterically and said, with the speed of Zhanlong and the rest, after so long, who knows if all of the other Yang family members have died by now. Your Yang family, still lost in the end. Yang Qingxian cast a furious gaze on Bai Xing and then looked towards founder Yang and said with sorrow, Father, Wu Er and the rest. Long Chen had never thought that things would end this way. The rage in his heart grew, and, seeing that despite his imminent death this old man was still so smug, Long Chen immediately used all of his force and crushed the neck of Bai Xing while he was still alive. To think that one of the experts in Poplar Town were to die in this manner, under the hands of a sixteen-years-old youth, was something no one could ever expect. Long Chen could never have imagined that he would become the super-expert in Poplar Town in just over a month's time. The credit of this achievement was due to the mysterious dragon jade pendant and the mysterious inherited blood essence. Grandfather, I'll leave the soul diffusion fruits and my mother to you. 
Ling Ching and the rest might be in trouble, so I will run with my utmost speed and save them now. Looking at this youth, Founder Yang nodded his head solemnly. Right now, they believed in Long Chen more than anyone else. He had replaced Founder Yang as the pillar of support for the Yang family. If it were several months ago and someone prophesied this moment, everyone would have definitely thought that person to be a lunatic. However, the truth was now in front of everyone. Tears welled in Yang Lingqing's eyes. All of the old, the weak, the women and children in the Yang family were all huddled together and trembling. At this point, the only people who barely had the ability to fight back were three, Yang Lingqing, Yang Lingyue, and Yang Wu. But their opponents right now were the eldest son, Bai Zhanlong, the fourth son Bai Zhanfeng, as well as Bai Shurchen and Bai Shurji who had recently recovered. At this moment, the four of them laughed and looked towards Yang Lingqing and the other two. Amongst them, Bai Shurji smirked and said, How is it? Ling Qing, Ling Yue, have the both of you made up your minds? Right now, your young family is thoroughly finished. Only by following me and my elder brother will you have a chance to live. On the side of the Yang family, under the attack of the four from Bai family, Yang Wu had already fallen. At this moment, he was lying in Yang Ling Yue's arms, and his face was extremely pale. The traces of blood at the corners of his mouth had reappeared even though he wiped it away, and it was clear that in this exchange he was more severely injured than before. Yang Lingyue cried, her tears falling down like petals of blossom flowers. She gave Bai Shurji a look of loathing and said, What abilities do you two brothers have by ganging up on my brother? All of your Bai family are bastards. Only being able to resort to underhanded means such as bullying the weak and women. Bai Shurji, however, was not flustered after being told off by Yang Lingyue. He smiled and said, It looks like your stupidity is not average. In this world, only the results matter, not the process. Right now, your grandfather and that little bastard have definitely, 100%, been slain by my grandfather and the expert from Crimson Blood Sacred Sect. As for us here, we have to finish exterminating the remaining trash of the Yang family members before returning to celebrate. It seems like time is running out so I will no longer waste any more of it. As for the both of you girls, we will just resort to violence to bring you away. For the rest, all of you must die. Regarding the matter of the Crimson Blood Sacred Sect and Yang Shiwiching being a hostage, Yang Lingqing had already overheard them earlier. Thinking that they would all perish and that the mighty Yang family was meeting its end, their hearts all shattered. If not for Yang Qingxian, who had instructed them right before he left, these silver spoon children would not be able to endure until this moment. At that moment, Bai Shurchen and Bai Shurji started walking towards the Yang family members, and suddenly, the women and children screamed. Looking at the rest of the family members behind her, Yang Lingqing gritted her teeth and said to Yang Wu, Big brother, hand me the phantom glass sword, 